Hi boys and girls, welcome to Circle Time with Miss Stephanie. I hope you're doing well. Let's go over our gimme five rules. Can you show me five? Everyone, sitting. Hands are down. Ears are listening. Eyes are looking. And mouth is quiet. Okay, let's sing our hello song. Hello, everybody, let's clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. Hello, everybody, let's clap our hands. How are you today? Okay, it's time for a little finger play. Let's wiggle our fingers and wake them up. Shake your hands. And today we're going to sing Where's Thumbkin? So you need to get your thumbs out and then hide them behind your back. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Okay, this time we're going to do it with our pointers. Get your pointers out and hide them behind your back. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Great, that's fun. I like practicing with your different fingers and isolating them. It's kind of tricky. Okay, let's do a little movement break. And today we're going to read our book of the month, The Mitten. So I have this big mitten. It's really big. You know, the ones that keep your hands warm when you go outside? Big mitten and I'm going to take out animals and we'll do a different animal walks and it's going to be super fun. Okay, let's see what the first one is. Let's see what I'm going to pull out. Hopefully something I know how to do that animal walk to. This one. Oh, I knew it was going to be this one. It's the badger. Hmm, how does a badger walk do you think? Let's try it. I think we could probably go down low to the ground and scurry around. Can you try this? Kind of squat down low and put your hands on the floor and scurry around. Okay, let's try another one. All right, what's it going to be? Oh, I like this one. You know what that is? What animal is that? It's a bear. This animal's a bear. Now I know how to do a good bear walk. Okay, you're going to have your feet on the ground and your hand on the ground. And keep your butt up and do some big bear crawls. Rawr, rawr. Can you try? Rawr. That's fun. Let's do one more. Okay, so what animal is it going to be? Stand up and fly around the room. Let's put our arms out and we'll fly around the room. Fly up high, fly down low, do a little circle. Great. Okay, let's put these animals back in the mitten. They'll be nice and warm and cozy in here. See you later. And it's time to read our book. Come a little bit closer so you can see the pictures. The mitten. Oh, look at all the fun animals. And there's the mitten. Right in the snow. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. At first, his grandmother, Baba, didn't want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look and see you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. 
So off Nicky went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Look here, you can see the, the mitten that he dropped in the snow. And there he is, playing. A mole tried tunneling along, discovered the mitten, and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. Oh, he's over here. It's really tiny. Look here. There he is, going into the mitten. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. There he is. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in. Feet first, the mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. He didn't want to get kicked by those strong rabbit feet. Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. There he is. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles. They made room. They didn't want to get pulped with prickles. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl attracted by the commotion swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But then they saw the owl's glinty talons they quickly let him in. Oh, look at here. Big, sharp talons, his claws. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. Oh, so he's going to climb into the thumb of the mitten because he's sharp. He didn't want to get hurt by these sharp things. It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotted by, trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten and plumped up, not being one to be left out in the cold. He began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be, but what animal could argue with a bear? The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged too many times its size, but Baba's good knitting held fast. It was a really strong mitten, so it could be stretched bigger and bigger every time. Along came a meadow mouse. Oh, look at the little mouse. Squeak, squeak. No bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. Uh-oh, what happens when something tickles your nose? The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, 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 choo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Wowzers! On his way home, on his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Can you see the mitten in the blue sky? Can you point to it? It's right there. As he ran to catch his white or his snow white mitten, he saw Bubba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound, and then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Oh, look, look at the last page here. See, Baba 
is looking at the mittens and one is really big and one is still small. You know how that happened? All the animals stretched it out, right? That was a really good book. Okay, what's next? We're going to sing our song. Okay, and our song today is a chubby snowman. And it goes like this. There was a chubby snowman, he had a carrot nose. Along came a bunny, and what do you suppose? That hungry little bunny was looking for his lunch. He grabbed that snowman's carrot nose, nibble, nibble, crunch. That's a fun one, isn't it? Okay, now come on over and I'll show you our activity for today. We are going to do some square painting, just like this picture here. So I have some Unifix cubes, some little cubes. And first, I thought it would be fun to make a pattern with our cubes. So I'm going to try to make a blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Look, I made a pattern. Can you try to make a pattern too? I'm going to keep going. What color do you think comes next? Let's see, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, and then yellow. Cool. Okay, now we're going to do some painting. We're going to use these cool little cubes for stamping. And what shape is that? You know what shape this is? It's a square. It has four sides. One, two, three, four. Okay, so here is my paint, and I'm going to pour a little bit of paint onto my little paper plate here. And I'm only going to use some of it because there's another craft that we need this paint for. So just use a little bit, and we'll save some for later. And you can squeeze out the paint. Squeeze it out. Go There's some on my plate. I think just enough. Now I'm going to use this cube and start stamping. Neat. What kind of things could you make with this cube? Let's see what I'm going to make. Can you guess what I'm making? It's supposed to be a house. I'm trying to make a house. And look, I'll put a little couple windows on my house and maybe a door, maybe my door. And you can make all kinds of cool things. I hope you have fun. See you next time, bye.